Hi, let's learn how to create this beautiful photo timeline in PowerPoint using Morph Animation. On a click, you can see that the photos on the right hand side are changing, showing change in time. Now you can use this simple idea to show change over time in pretty much anything. These four pictures could be the pictures of your company's history how you started your organization and how it has grown with a few employees and then how you expanded and where it is today. It could also be the photos of your project timeline. Wherever you want to showcase change over time using photos, this could be your option. The best part is, this is extremely simple to create even if you are a rank beginner in PowerPoint. If you have a version of PowerPoint that allows you to use PowerPoint Morph, then you can use it in no time. Let me show you how to create the simple yet highly practical photo timeline using Morph in PowerPoint. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first thing I'm going to do is to set aside an area of my slide for my photos. So I can use a guide for that. Let me right click, then click and open this flyout menu and click on guides. And that will show you these guides. We require just the vertical one. And let us say that this is the area that I want to use for sticking my photo. I don't really require my horizontal guide, so I can right click and delete it. And just to save some time, I'm going to reuse the photos I've used already. I've taken all these photos right from inside PowerPoint by going to insert pictures and from stock images. If you don't have the option of using stock images from PowerPoint, you can use your own source to get your images. Then let us create the rolling numbers here. The first thing I'm going to do is to pick up the text box tool. You can find that either from insert text box or from home and auto shapes gallery. Let us pick up this and then write number 20. In this case, I want to showcase all the numbers that are from 2001 onwards. So that is the reason why I'm writing this number 20 here. Let us change this to a thicker font. In this case, I'm going to use 2cent empty condensed extra bold and let us really increase the size. Now to save some time, I'm going to go only from 2001 to 2010. So let me take this press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and I'm going to place the number here and this is going to be 01 and then you hit enter and write 02 hit enter 03 and so on this makes it much easier for you to do the scrolling later on so we have got our numbers written the next thing we need to do is to create a small window through which we can see these numbers. So let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up this rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like so and make sure that the size of this rectangle is corresponding to the window size. Let me right click and send it to back so you can clearly see. Now notice the distance between the numbers and the edges of rectangle. You can see that there is not too much space allowed here. And that is to ensure that this effect looks authentic. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery once again, pick up the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle so that it covers the entire slide from top to bottom. Make sure that you use the guides to place your rectangle exactly to the size that you want. Then right click and send this to back. Now all we need to do is to ensure that we select this, hold the shift button down and select this rectangle in the middle and then subtract it. So let us go to shape format, go to merge shapes and say shape subtract and that's it. Now we need to select this, go to shape fill and give it white color, go to shape outline and say no outline. Now all that is left for us to do is to send these numbers back. So I'm going to right click and send this to back. That's it. Now let me go to slideshow and show you what is visible here. We have the number and the associated photo. Now, the reason why I had left a bit of space here on the right is we can adjust the placement of the number. If you feel that the number is to the left, then you can always select all the elements and then place them properly. I can select this 20 and then this series and then use my right arrow key so I can position it exactly where I want. Then let us right click, duplicate slide, 
and here I am going to change my time from 2001 let us say I want to take it to 2004 so I can move this using my up arrow key on my keyboard and make sure that 2004 is shown here aligning with number 20. We need to change this to some other picture. You can right click on this, go to change picture and you can choose your own source for your photos. Let me go to from stock images. Let me select this image and say insert and you can see that this image is going to be replaced by the new image that we downloaded. Now at this point I would like to add morph animation. So let us go to transitions and say morph animation. So this is how the animation plays. Let me duplicate and then do exactly what we did earlier. Let us select this and then change the number to say 2010. So let us select this and then use my up arrow key and then take it all the way till 2010. And once again, let me select this, right click and change picture, go to from stock images and choose this girl and say insert. If at any point of time you feel that the photo that you have selected is not in line with what you want, you can always readjust the crop area. You can select this, go to picture format and click on crop. You can see the area that has been cropped out. You can always move it the way you want. So this is exactly the way that, that we want. Let me hit the escape button and it is selected. Now when I go to slideshow after going to the first slide, this is how the animation would play. On a click we can see the numbers rolling and the photo changing and again the number rolls and we have the photo changing. Most of the times creating engaging visual presentations requires you to apply a bit of creativity and the basic tools in PowerPoint. Now let me show you some example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle that show you how to use animation to showcase timeline. Here we have the present situation, you can write your text about it and then the future situation and you can write your text about it. Then on a click we introduce an object which represents a person wanting to go from present to future and then on a click we show a helping hand that makes him make the transition. Here you can write your details about the person or the factor that has helped the person to bridge the gap. The next example is this one where we show the transition from a seed to tree. On a click we talk about the first stage which is the seed stage. Then on a click we show that the seed is planted and then there is germination and here we talk about the initial stage. Then on a click we show the final stage where everything has given results and this is the placement for the final stage text. Then let's go to the next template. Here the same idea is shown from a different angle. Here we are talking about three stages of growth. On a click we talk about the first stage which only has a few leaves. Then we have more leaves proliferating and this is stage two. And finally the third stage is shown as a full blown grown tree and this is stage three. If you don't want to use metaphors, you can use three simple photos to show the movement from one to the next. You can see that this is stage one or year. And then on a click, we show the movement from this to the next year and then from this to the next year. You can easily replace these photos with your own photo and make this slide your own. The last example is this one where we show four milestones. Just in case you don't want to use photos, you can use the simple concept animation. On a click we talk about year one or the first milestone and you can write your text here. You can see we have used a handwritten font to give that informal feeling. Then on a click we show the second milestone, the third milestone and the fourth milestone. All these and more are available as ready-made templates in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. The link to the product is in the description box below the video. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.